Hello YouTube, this is Rundergun here today with not a glitch but something that's equally annoying. It is an obstacle course at the gates of Orgrimmar. Now I am making this for my guild so that I can challenge them to do this and have some kind of contest where they can win money and everything, they don't try to beat my time. But uh, you can do this yourself, you're free to use it. Um, you can challenge your own friends, your own guild, you can do it if you're really really bored or just tired of raiding or PvP or whatever it is you do. You start at the first beam and you jump to these two platforms and you pull up those barrels that are highlighted with the red marker. The reason I have this red marker here is because you are allowed to use a mount from this point. The next jump is a bit long and to do it without a mount will just make you more frustrated. So you jump onto this next platform onto the next platform and at the platform with the green marker you can't leave that mounted so you have to jump there and dismount there and this is your final goal the last beam at the gate of Orgrimmar um, you run there to the middle and that will be your time that I will review and see if you're faster than me now there are a few rules uh, for starters you can't use active speed buffs like Unholy Crescent uh, Sprint, Aspect of the Cheetah because that's just really cheating. However, you can't turn off passive speed buffs like Pathfinding or Pursuit of Justice, so I'll allow that. And I want you to use the in-game stopwatch, because that's the most valid time reference you can give me. As far as I know, you can manipulate that, and I really need valid times. Well, that's enough talking for me. You probably want to see how I did it, so here I go. Jumping. Onto the second platform, and like I said, you can use your own path if you want. You don't have to use this. You can use your own skill and gimmicks and everything that's allowed with the rules to make your own way to the last beam. Like I said, here you can use your mount. And onto the second platform, where I'll have to dismount. And this is the really tricky part. I, I fell so many times here, it's not funny uh, anymore. So I have to be really careful here. But I made it eventually, and then I jump, running to the middle, and it's 39 seconds, that's the time you'll have to beat. Now, like I said, Runaway Little Girl, this is some kind of contest. Anyone in Runaway Little Girl can do this, and practice it, and give their time. And I will give 100 gold for every second the three fastest players are faster than me. So if you have a time of 35 seconds, you will get 400 gold. So good luck everyone in Runaway Little Girl and have fun!